Where are we now? Uh, we're at we're with a bunch of excited alligators. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, that the, is that the alligators? Yeah. They're looking forward they to seeing you. <laughs> I thought that was like a power hose. Look at them, look at them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're splashing. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I'm definitely more scared. On the last day, I knew that we were going on like a longer drive. I don't think you have to go an hour away to go to a weird sex party. Yeah, you do, you do. I think we're going to the swamp. We ended up driving like outside of the city. We had to cross over this bridge. Land ho! That's me. <laughs> I'm a land ho. And eventually we like go on this like really long road and I saw a sign that said like gators ahead. Alligator tours? It's a sign that just said alligator tours. Are we going to get an alligator tour? No, we're going to go meet a bunch of forest girls. We're not going to go! In my head, like, kind of jokingly, I was like, oh, that's so cool, gators. I don't know. We're not doing that. That'd be crazy. Is it alligator tour? No. Horse girls? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Devin, I'm getting very nervous. And then we, like, turned. We are going on a gator tour. I knew it! We're going to a gator ranch. What? <laughs> we're going to go work with some alligators. What? We're gonna pick them up and learn how to open their mouths and stuff. <laughs> what? Wait. I'm so scared of alligators. We're here. We are definitely right here. Hi. 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 Where is he? Hi. Where the f are we? We know there's gators. Are right they there? Ah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not funny. funny. We are at the Instigator Ranch. And we're going to learn about Louisiana's biggest keystone predator, the alligator. Hi, John. Hi, how are you all nice doing today? Nice to meet you. The owner and basically one of our guides of instigators, this dude named John. Welcome to Instigator Ranch. Instantly, I felt a lot more comfortable because he was just like the nicest dude. So how long have you had the ranch, John? I started in 1989. We've been raising alligators ever since. We go out in the marsh and harvest the eggs, incubate them, hatch them, raise them to a size where we can return some back to the marsh. We enjoy what we do. We also do tours here so people can learn just how Louisiana has become the best in the world at protecting crocodilians. You could tell he was super knowledgeable about everything he was doing. And also you could tell he was really proud of like their, his ranch, the way that his family all works there. So are y'all ready to learn some alligator facts? Yes. I'm ready to learn facts. Nervous about the interactive portion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the first thing you see on the tour of this ranch is a tank that's like specifically designed to house all the oh baby gators. Wow. And these are our baby alligators. Hi, babes. Okay. These alligators were all born during the month of August. They're just like these like kind of little like weird long fish animal thingies that just kind of like bop around. It's been such a successful program that the population of alligators has grown from about 600 to 800,000 in 1985 wow. to today we have over three and a half million alligators in the state of Louisiana. So surprisingly, alligators' necks are tougher than their torsos. It's right about the middle of the tail is where you want to grab first. And then you're just going to put a little loop around their neck, kind of just a little collar for them. Their faces are still kind of ugly, but because they're so small, they are actually really cute. I like this one. Look at his little paw. Do they like to cuddle? Are they cuddlers? These I don't know that I would use that exact term. <laughs> <laughs> but in some form or fashion, the answer is yes. Oh. So cute. You did it. Wow, hey buddy. Look at Hi, you. baby. Hi. You got tiny eyes and an even tinier brain, apparently. <laughs> John. <laughs> They're basically little puppies. They're puppies. little water puppies. <laughs> water puppies. Just <laughs> a got it. How you doing? Hi, right, buddy. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait so for it. Grab time. it like that. Yeah, and then and then you just grab it. Nope, oh, nope. He doesn't like that. Okay, you're right. I should be firmer with you. I'm not a good parent right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your arms crossed? I don't like know. That. I don't like this positioning. He might so swim mean. away if I let him go. Oh, yeah. This guy's not calm. Like, All right, I got him now. You got him? Yeah. Oh. Well, we can check that one off the bucket list. <laughs> 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 Wait, 
fondled some dangerous predators. Fondled. Yeah, fondled. Oh, I don't know if fondled's the word. <laughs> All of the other gators are held in these barns. They have to keep the humidity really high. The smell was pretty intense. Yeah. It is like a mix of wet, Whoa. fishy animal smell, and then just like the heaviness of all of that humidity. So it kind of feels like you're eating it. John mentioned that they power wash all of those pens. So it's a clean facility. It's just that animals are stanky. So what we're gonna do is let you all feed the alligators, and once we've made them good and happy, we're gonna hop into a pen and catch an alligator, and then let one of you all tape the alligator's mouth shut. <laughs> Yay, who wants to do that? Let's rock, paper, scissors. You know what? I will do that. Yeah? I will do it. Actually, why did they agree to that? <laughs> and they're actually looking for you to feed them, so we're going to hand you some food. Do they have a sweet tooth? No, but they do come from the marsh, and this will make them mellow. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, none of them have eaten one. <laughs> As you can see, they're quite lazy animals. They just, they'll get it if they can, and they, they won't if they, it's too much trouble. Oh, there you go, buddy, you got one. John explained that sometimes the alligators do get a little bit irritated if people are around them. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. And as soon as they bite, they're not that gentle. They're gonna crunch or whatever. Ooh, they're... okay. <laughs> that one is, yeah, that one's getting... Feisty. John reassured us that like as long as you're behind the fence and you're not leaning over or like jumping in, you're completely safe. John, have you ever been bit by an alligator before? And I've been bitten by a three foot, four foot, five, six, and seven foot alligators. You've been bitten by a seven foot alligator? I have. We don't use snares and ropes and things like that because that does damage to the skin. Yeah. Um, do you wear special suits? Like how do you protect your... A diaper. <laughs> 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 One of the alligators did get pretty annoyed that we were there. Well, alligators don't have lips, so they don't concern themselves with whether mouth is getting, oh. with okay. whether, They're getting. Yeah, we're starting to irritate them a little bit. Wow. Okay. Emanate this like really like growly, hissy sound. Yep, yep, yep. yep. We might want to step away. Okay. Let's... <laughs> okay. I'm trying. It was a little bit frightening, just because like you could tell it's just like, this is such a powerful animal. But yeah, when it hissed at us, I was like, listen, if this alligator jumps out of this pen, we're not equipped to fight it. You were about to run me over. <laughs> you literally were just like, Jeez. why is it moving? I'm just trying to get out of the way. I, I know it may not have sounded like it at the time, but I wasn't concerned for you all's safety. Right. Um, I just don't think that we should stand there and irritate him to the point where he might decide to have a fight with one of his friends. Okay, so where to next? Let's go catch an alligator. We gotta, we gotta take Wait, him that's what we're doing now? We're doing that now? Yeah. I'll try to find a nice alligator for yeah, you. Yeah, find her only the nice ones. Only the nice ones. They actually have a little flap in the back of their throat called a palatal valve. Oh, there he goes. So that little flap back there is what prevents water from going into their lungs. Thank you. Yay. You're gonna do tape on top of tape right in front of my thumbs. Okay, right in front of your thumbs? You don't want to cover up his nostrils, just right, right in front there. of my thumbs, and you're gonna go about four times around. Okay? You cut the tape. And I can rip it off <laughs> oh, for you. you it's a little, it. Yeah, it's a little Oh, for you. all right. Well, that wasn't Excellent. scary. Not too bad. Yeah. This is the size that we released. Of course, I haven't measured him yet, but he's about four feet long. So why do they like to put their nose against surfaces? Um, whenever they're young, they tend to kind of like to huddle together. All of these alligators in here are roughly a year and a half old, so they're still pretty young, because alligators do live basically as long as we do. Uh, 70 years is kind of an average lifespan. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. So all of our mating actually takes place in the wild. All of our eggs come to us that we collect from the wild. We take mama's eggs because only about 6% naturally survive. So by taking the eggs from the wild, you're able to ensure that like a higher percentage of those alligators survive. Exactly. That's the exact reason that we exist because they did a lot of studies early on and found that they really weren't surviving due to predators, due to flooding. So ever since this program started in the 80s, we've always released more than what naturally survives. So the population has always been increasing. He's so calm right He's now. He's so Sweet. calm. I told you I'd catch you a nice one. Oh, I appreciate yeah. that. That was, easy. that was shockingly easy. I literally was like, I'm gonna have to get in the pool, I'm gonna wrestle an alligator, that, that's gonna be my day. <laughs> Can we name him Nelson? Bye, Nelson. Bye, Nelson. Bye, Nelson. He goes, bye. bye. <laughs> I started this day very scared, a little not happy. Are you f***ing kidding?
kidding me, Devin? Kill Surprise! <laughs> but I ended it with taping an alligator's mouth and like touching its tummy and I'm being so like, proud of you. It was cool. Look, I went for it, okay? Oh, I, did. I did the thing that no one else wanted to do. Right. So I learned a lot. They're like really beautiful animals. Mm -hmm. They're actually like very tame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> impressed with everyone at Instigator just because yeah. not only do they, you know, raise these alligators, they know so much about them. And they yeah. deeply care about these animals. It was interesting because like John and Alex, like I was like, oh, like this is also your home. Like you live here. This is where you like, you raised your family. So it was kind of cool because not only did we get a meet up with alligators, but I sort of felt like this is the most we've gotten to know like people that lived here, I which was them. really cool. I'm not going to lie. And I'm, I'm sure it was pretty obvious when we got there, but I was really nervous about meeting alligators. Were you? I feel like with Devin, it's never just, oh, we're going to go look at the alligators. There's always another piece to it. Yeah, like, yeah. That's a little bit of a, you know, a plot twist. So, but it was really cool. We got to like, oh, I loved holding the little babies. They yeah. were so yeah, sweet really and cute. so cute. I love them. So we went to an alligator ranch. I honestly never thought that would happen, but if you're in Louisiana and in New Orleans specifically, I recommend Instigator. It's pretty cool. I touched a baby gator. Not many people can say that.